What up, Foss Football? I hear there's a little unrest in our league. Some of you are disappointed with the weekly updates. Well, why don't you go tell someone who fucking cares? Ah, you know, I always deliver. So I'll give you more this week. This is the guy who brought you the free agent bidding, waiver wire, with free agent pickups afterwards. I'm getting a lot of credit. Anyways, let's do our first video log here. The lead story out of week 10 has to be Magnum Dogs versus the Sarcasta Balls. The two teams right out of the gate all season long, flipping and flopping, battling for the number one spot in the league. The matchup was a great one again. Magnum Dogs takes it this week 139 to 112. 140 points. Ezekiel Elliott for Chris Kerr's team drops 39 points. Cam Newton, 24 points. Dave's got like seven running backs on his team. Still can't fucking beat this guy. He's still picking them up. It does look like Dave did make a decision, though, this week. A questionable one in my mind, and a, a Mr. Joe Alexander might be interested in this decision himself. He dropped Dak Prescott to the free agent wire, which looks like he's solidifying Tom Brady as his quarterback from here on out. That's not to say he can't change, but to drop someone of Dak's stature to the free agent, he must have some trust in the old Mr. Tom Brady. Good luck, Dave. Week 11, we've got a featured matchup. Clementine's Walkers versus Dave and his Sarcasta Balls. Tom Brady versus Tom Brady's past owner who benched him quite often. Joe's been hanging around all year. Joe and Dave, really, are essentially playing for a first-round bye. we got two weeks left. Chris and Dave lead the league at 7-3. and three. Joe's hanging around at 6-4. and four. Kind of been in third place. Shown signs of being in second place part of the year. Got a solid team. It's going to be a good matchup. Keep an eye on it. The other team to keep an eye on that we have not talked about is Penis Audio, also 6-4. and four. Just gave Joe a loss this week. Penis Audio faces one of the lower-tier teams for the second year in a row now, Cleveland Abduction. Had a rough go at it, man. Time to rename the team. I know that it, this is Cleveland's year, but it ain't your year. Three and seven. So they've got a six and four versus a three and seven. Odds are Bill will win, but, you know, odds never really mean a whole lot. The one guy I do feel like can be counted out at this point, even though he's four and six, is just beat Joe. Pat has the lowest scoring team in the league by far. 857 points for. That's terrible, Pat. Time to rebuild and start planning for next season. What else we got here? So, two weeks left. Really, everyone's thinking playoffs right now. This is what you're playing for. I know none of you have touched it yet. You're also playing for one of these. You get to put one on, brag to all your friends. Right now, I would say, barring any monumental collapse, Magnum Dogs, Sarcasta Ball, both at 7-3, and three, definitely in. Probably first round buys. Clementine's Walkers and Penis Audio, just as we talked about, most definitely in, barring a, some type of a collapse at 6-4. and four. 
That leaves the remaining two spots for the remaining six teams. Now, there's lots of us at five and five and, you know, four and six and three and seven. Uh, Adam and, and a three and seven, he's still in it. You are still in it. But you just have a long rope to tow. You play Lord of the Rings this week. It's either a big win for the Lord of the Rings, possibly a playoff push, and an elimination game for you, or you win, and and you're right back in the in the hunt here. So, two weeks left. Keep an eye on that matchup: Clementines Walkers and Sarcastic Ball. I suggest you guys pick up anyone, drop people, make trades, get that win, man. You need that buy. The buy is crucial. And for all of us sitting on the outside looking in, keep in mind, this guy right here, 6-6 six and six last year, going in the playoffs, wins the whole thing. It's still possible. All right, till next week. There will be no bitching between now and then. Well, we know, Dave, there will be. And Jess will be there to back him up, you know, biting at my heels on Facebook. But anywho, until next week, cheers.